Hey, what's up everybody? This is How To Tech, and we're going to bring you a Droid Turbo 2 disassembly today. Um, this is a Moto Maker version of it, so it's white and blue with blue accents, kind of cool. We have some guitar picks, a small Torx 4 screwdriver, a couple of these nylon picks. These are newer. I found these are actually gun cleaning picks, but I think they'd come in super handy for disassembling film, so we're going to give those a whirl. And we have a nylon spudger, good old trusty here. Uh, and we also will be needing a heat gun. Now, this isn't 100% necessary. It may just make the job a little bit easier of getting the back off of the device. Uh, so, first thing you want to do is make sure your phone is powered off. So, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. We're going to go ahead and power the phone down. And then we're going to go ahead and want to eject the SIM card slot and remove that out of the phone. Now normally there's a little hole underneath this you can use to pop the back cover off of the back of these Moto devices, uh, but on this one it's actually not there, so we're going to have to find a new way into the phone. So we're going to take our heat gun, we're going to heat the back up. Now this is a plastic back, so we're not going to do anything crazy, uh, like melt it. Uh, we're just going to get it nice and warm, working our way around the sides of the device and then down through the middle as well. Uh, the inside of this phone has tape all over it to keep this back cover on. Uh, so we're going to want to apply a uh, nice even heat all the way around. Now again like I was saying you don't want to get it melty hot but you do want to get it warm. The goal is just to loosen the adhesive a little bit to make it easier to pry the back off. And the back is really really flexible so you don't have to really be worried about breaking it uh, when bending it to pull to remove it but you definitely don't want to damage it by trying to slice it in uh, to the side of the phone as well. We're getting pretty close. I'm going to take a guitar pick here. I'm going to try, there's a little gap down here on the side. In the back here, we're going to try to dip our guitar pick in here and see if we can get it to slide around. Right through here. And we're just going to give it a little bit of force. Okay, I apparently you broke a guitar pick. We could try up here at the top as well. Uh, there's really not a whole lot of gapping around this phone so I found the easiest way to get this open is to take a sim card slot tool and pull up here you just want to put it right underneath the back not too far in and we're just gonna to try to get this to lift just a little tiny bit and then we can take a guitar pick and work our way around the side of this camera holder here just dip it in and we can remove the sim card slot removal tool and work our way around and loosen up some of the adhesive around this portion. It's pretty sticky stuff, so you have to give a little bit of force. There's nothing underneath here that you're really going to damage, uh, so you can be a little bit forceful with it. We've got some tape coming out here, so we're just going to pull that out. And that should give us a good entry point back into the phone. We're going to try to slide it up here a little bit closer to the top of the device. Oh wow, this thing's really stuck on there. Let's try using our pry tool right here. There we go, we can go ahead and slide that up. And now we got a gap here at the top of the phone, something we can slide our pick into and underneath. And I'll take this and we'll slide it around the phone. We're going to get a large portion of it started here, and then we can go ahead and start pulling it back. There we go. Now we've got it open. We can go ahead and yank on the back cover a little bit. Now, I'm not just ripping this thing off. I'm taking my time. I'm pulling close to where the glue is, or the tape is, to pull it back. And that way the back cover doesn't have any issues with ripping or anything like that. So we're just going to pull it back nice and gentle. Moving some of the tape if necessary as we go. Well, there's our charge coil for wireless charging. We're going to put our thumb on it and hold it down to make sure that nothing pulls up. It is just adhered to the back of this phone. Work our way down. There's a little piece of black plastic right here that wants to pull up. So we're going to put our thumb on it as we pull the back cover off. Make sure that it doesn't remove with the back cover. There we go. You see there's a lot of adhesive on the back of this cover holding this down. Uh, so uh, just be careful when you're removing it. You don't want to rip it or damage the phone. 
We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 screws to remove. We'll start down here at the bottom and work our way around. And it looks like all the ones down the left and the right side of the phone are black. And the ones above the camera and the two down here by the charge port are silver. Uh, the remaining screws, the, all the black screws are the same length. And same with the silver screws in my opinion. Uh, so you don't have to worry about sorting them or finding out exactly where they came from in the phone, but I think it's nice to do anyways. So we're just going to unscrew these and work our way down the side. And before anybody says it, yes, I could have fast forwarded to this part, but the point is, as you can see, how long it takes to disassemble this. And one thing that you notice with these Moto phones lately is, man, these screws are in there so tight. You want to make sure you have the correct fitting Torx. Uh, and some Torx heads that I've found are a little bit size differently. Uh, it could be a size 3 out of your collection that fits better and mine it's a size 4. I use a iFixit tools uh, so just be careful with it. You don't want to strip any of these screws out. You want to press down firmly. I'm pressing them very hard and then twisting to pull the back off of or these screws out of their holes. Uh, so just be aware of that uh, when you're looking to remove this device. Uh, damaging a, a screw head can get it lodged in the back of the phone and uh, that can take quite some time to get removed. All right, so we're a little over halfway, just working our down our way down the left hand side of the phone now. There's no button bracket on this particular phone like there has been in some of the Moto X's. Three more screws. And this is our last one now. All right. Now with that done, our next step is to go ahead and remove the mid frame of the phone. Um, and to do that, we're going to pop these grommets out so we can undo some cable connectors underneath them. And these are on pretty tight. It might take a little bit of work to get these things out of here. And you want to be careful because they do tend to shoot off. It looks like the connector popped up here, but you're just going to pop this connector up and pull it away. And do the same thing up here at the top. We're going to pull this connector, this little grommet back, and get out of the connector underneath it. Perfect. And these connectors are for the loudspeaker and the flash on the phone. This is a little bit tricky. Try a different method here to get it to pull up. There we go. Now with that done, we can take a guitar pick. We're going to separate the frame from the mid frame. Now this is clipped in. Now once you take the screws out, it should be fairly easy. Uh, our, looks like the power button, volume button pop right out for us. And then we can pull the backing off and you can see that the cable connectors here this one went to the flash assembly and then the one at the bottom went to the loudspeaker we have our three and a half millimeter headphone jack and our loudspeaker down here as well as the vibration motor on the back of that alright so this is a little interesting for a moto phone it looks pretty different from a lot of the other ones I've seen in the past it looks like uh, we have some tape here Whenever you have this much tape on the interior of the phone, you can be almost guaranteed it's hiding a screw. So we're going to pull back this black tape. It's actually sitting on top of the copper sink. So we want to pull just back the black tape. And you can start to see a screw right here. It's holding this phone together. So we're just going to peel this back. And I apologize about the being at the bottom of the screen. I got a new camera rig. And I'm getting a little bit used to where it's centered on my desk. All right, let's pull that back. There we go. Now we can see that there is definitely a screw underneath this. So we're going to go ahead and undo these screws here and pop these out. It looks like it's holding itself on top of this bracket, and that's covering a ton of screws. So, oh my gosh, this one is in there extremely tight. You can see that I just stripped it a little bit. So we're going to pull out the bottom one, giving it a lot of force on top of the screw head and then pulling it out. 
And something that happens if you do have a problem where you possibly strip a screw head, it may be easier to try a little bit larger bit. There we go. Uh, to help pull it out. So just be careful with that. These are in there extremely tight. So we pull that off, the brackets already popped right out for us. So it looks like it's just holding on the ribbon cable connectors down here. And we have a lot of stuff going on on the inside of this phone. So we have a, looks like a mic and our volume button, power button up here. There have our battery connector. We're gonna go ahead and pop that off here real fast. Then we have this mic here. We're gonna pop this up. I guarantee this is connected to the logic board underneath. The cable's running underneath, so we're gonna pry that up and kind of pull it away. And then it looks like there's some yellow capped on tape on top of this connector here. So we're gonna pull this tape back. It's gonna allow us access to the pop-up connector. Have to pull back just a little bit more. There we go. We can pop the connector up. And this cable is most likely the cable to the uh, touch function, the digitizer. Pull it out. It's got a little adhesive underneath the IC chip here, so we're just going to pull that up. We have tape on top of the display cable here. And this would be the one that's going to the actual display on the phone. We're going to pull this tape up also. And pro tip is put it right next to where you pull it out. Uh, that way when you put the phone back together, you know exactly where that tape went. We're going to pry it up right on the side here. We want to put it right in the middle to pry these up. And these cables uh, sometimes don't want to come out. and You don't want to force it. You don't want to damage any of these. So you can leave it in until we pull the logic board out. Uh, it might make it a little bit easier uh, to uh, get out instead of playing around with it and trying to force it out for a bit. I'm going to pull up this connector here, and I'm guessing this one is the one for the power button, volume button. It looks like it runs underneath the battery. And it looks like our board should pop out. Well, we have one more connector here, this wire cable connector, this antenna connector. I'm going to pop that off here real fast as well. And it's got a little guide slot that it's actually adhered to here. I'll pop that up. Then we can go ahead and remove... Uh, the logic board out of the phone. We're going to tip it backwards uh, towards the side of the phone and then pull it off of that ribbon cable connector there. There you go. We have our logic board out of the phone and we, our rear facing camera is the same kind of pop-up slot connector. So if you do need to replace that, just pull the tape up and do it just like we did the display cable and the uh, digitizer cable. We can go ahead and set that piece aside. And the next step is to take a look at what else we can take out of this phone. So let's see what else we have going on here. So here's all our connectors and the battery here. It's a kind of a funky shape here, so uh, we're gonna pop that out here real quick as well. Let's see if we can get the battery out. We have our earpiece speaker up here, our front-facing camera. Let's pull the front-facing camera out. Perfect. And the same thing, you I mean if you want to pull your earpiece speaker out, it's got a little adhesive around it. You can do that for sure and get that replaced. We're going to use a nice wide tool here. We're going to try to pop the battery out. And we're going to put it underneath and just being careful as we do this. We don't want to bend the battery that much. Um, we're just going to try to slide our tool underneath and give it a little bit of force to pull it out. You use the flat side. You can use a putty knife for this as well. If you have a, a, a plastic putty knife, that might come in pretty handy. So using the wide blade, we're just trying to wiggle it up. The goal is to get some of the adhesive to loosen. And you can use a couple of tools for this as well. So once you get it started and pulled up, you can use another tool to help kind of pry the tape away. And again, we're not trying to bend the battery out. The goal is is to remove the battery and it's close to its same shape as it was in, and we don't want to pierce it at all. So I'm pulling back, you can hear the tape kind of pull away from the phone at this point. It's kind of cracking and creaking. That's 100% normal. But now that we have it pulled up, Let's put our pry tool in and see if we can't figure out where this tape is exactly at. We've got some definitely right up in here. Now that we have it pulled up, we have a good gap in there. We can get our tools underneath. We're going to use a nylon spudger and just use this to wedge the battery up a little bit. Just work our way down to pull it out. Let's 
trying to see if I can see where that adhesive is, and it looks like it's all the way down the inside of this. Let's use another wedge tool to help us pop this out. Might make our job just a little bit faster. Give it some positive force here. There we go. Now we're starting to make some progress. So now we can take a look inside, and it looks like it's got strips of adhesive all the way down the battery. There we go. So now you can see it's actually put on with just some 3M double-sided tape and strips. It's got four or five pieces here. That's holding it in place. So really, that's the majority of the disassembly of this phone. There's a couple more things that you could do if you'd like. I mean, you could really replace the volume button, power button. It's a shame they put it so deep into the phone, you have to take the whole thing apart to get to them. And there's an antenna board up here, it looks like, some connectors. This should be removed as well. You just need to pull the cable back and get that removed. Uh, hopefully the display some of you buy comes with this. If not, you'd have to transfer it over. Uh, anyways, I appreciate you watching the video. If you want to see the reassembly, I'll throw that down in the description below. I'll throw some links for some tools and some replacement parts in the description of this video as well. So feel free to check those out. As always, I appreciate you watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.